beauties? My name is Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I discuss everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today I have like a fall outfits, new in fall haul. Oh wait, sorry, that doesn't even make any sense. I have a fall haul of some random things that I picked up. This is probably going to be the most random haul that you'll ever see, but whatever. <laughs> I want to show you what I've gotten in and how I plan to style it. For fall, um, I got some things from Cost. I got some things from Zara. I got a few things from Urban Revival. This wasn't even intentional. It was just like things have been popping up, so I just been buying it. It is what it is. Um, I have like my random Zara bag. Um, I ordered online, and I got like a few cool things. Nothing really cohesive all over the place. So let's just start. What do we want to start with? Let's start with Zara. Maybe let's start with Zara because the stuff be selling out fast. So let's start with Zara. Literally pull out this bag. I went to Zara last night <laughs> because I was looking for something to wear to an event that I'm actually going to today, like a holiday party. And I'm going to end up having to wear something on my own. But I picked a few things up. Um, I got these, these lacy pants. And of course, I'm going to show you guys, um, you know, stuff on the side of everything that I got in. But they're these lacy legging pants. Now, I was inspired to get these from Pinterest because there's some looks that I want to kind of create with it. And I feel like it's going to be a creative moment. Of course, you can't wear them alone. You need, well, you can if you do, do it what you will. Um, but I can wear some kind of like boy short or kind of like a full kind of pants if we're giving like sexy kind of like edgy kind of look. But I got a size medium. They're long. I just thought, I love these for layering because I feel like what I feel like in my head, what I'm going to do, it's going to work out you know, beautifully. So I love these. Again, I got my true size, which is a medium. They're very stretchy. And then I also got this dress. Um, it's a sleeveless dress. When I got it, I just was like, oh, I need something to wear to work. Um, I don't have enough like long dresses to wear. And I find that dresses, especially these knit ones, are so easy and like so like easy to wear into the office with like looking good. And you can, if you have a drink after work, you, you have this on and it just works in my life. The other thing I got, um, I saw these online. Um, I feel like they're a dupe for a designer boot. Where are they? They're over here. They're a dupe for a designer boot, but I love them and I immediately bought them because I feel like I just needed something like this. Now, look at this. I tried to do this video as fast as I could, guys, just so everything is still available. But when I saw them, I had them because number one, I feel like all my boots especially when I'm going to work or it's like the weekend, you want something comfortable, they have some type of hardware on them. Um, I have like the set of boots and then I have to wear silver. So I wanted something that can wear silver or gold with that was comfortable. These are comfortable. The heel is giving, you know, it's giving like we'll take a kind of wedge heel. It's still giving um, sophistication, but not too high where it's unwearable. All my Zara boots surprisingly are decently comfortable, but I just wanted to have something like this on of a day in the city and not have to worry about my feet hurting without wearing sneakers. So see, it makes sense. Um, so I thought these were cool. Um, I got them in my true size, which is size nine. I believe they are, they actually come with an extra comfort technical insole foam. Who knew? But they're comfortable. And these were $79.90, which I think is so worth it. And I can't wait to wear them because He's gonna go in the office, it's gonna go on the weekends. I feel like it's just gonna go with so much. So as you guys know, I love Urban Revival. Um, I shop there every now so often because sometimes when they have like good stuff, it's just really good. I don't know what else to say is that it's just really good. So um, I saw a few things because I wanted this sweater that's really popular. So I'll start off with that, um, the leaf sweater. And let me tell you, like the sweater is like heavy. It's not thin, it's not cheapy, it's like thick. Um, I can't, I don't know if it's my nails, but I can't open the button, so I step in the sweater. Isn't that so stupid? I step in the sweater because I can't open the button. Um, I'm gonna have to get somebody to help me out with that, but it can open, I just step in it. I like it because it's a statement on its own, as you can wear, I wore it with like a cute like top underneath, and you know, that's that. You don't have to think too much about it. And I like the brown because it's like the perfect pop. I feel like it's so easy to get black. I'm obsessed with black, clearly. I'll show you this top later, but I'm obsessed with black, but I thought this was just so fun to get in the brown because that's not the typical color, you know, I would go for. I would usually just go for black, but I went with the brown, so I really love this. The quality is A1, so if it's still available, guys, worth it. Like, if this is heavy. Like, this is heavy right now. Like, I wore this out to an event, and this is all I wore, and I was, like, warm, and I didn't need anything else. Um, the next thing I got was this turtleneck from Urban Revival. Now, I love this. 
I styled this here, if you guys saw on shorts, with like trousers for work. I love it because I can wear it with jeans. And I just love the extra detail because I feel like in fall, my favorite kind of top is a turtleneck because it's just tight enough where it's form fitting, where you're warm, you can layer things over a turtleneck. You can wear it alone, it's warm. I, I feel like it's just the perfect thing to have. This comes in gray. I thought it came in different colors, but it doesn't. But um, you saw how I sized it up for my monochrome chrome look. And I just feel like it's just, it was comfortable in the office. I, was, I wasn't too hot. I got a size medium and it fit perfect, but I love it. I really, really love it. And this dress, is, it's funny, everything I'm showing you guys, you've already seen style. So yes, this is a full outfits inspo video as well because I've worn all the things. Like, you guys know, as soon as I get something, I like it, I wear it. Um, so this dress I thought was really cool. It reminded me of like a PH5 dress. And I just loved, like it was sexy, it has this green on the shoulder. If I wore it in the daytime, I'll wear like a cool, like green, like sunglass, like with my like Sandro coat that I wore here. You guys love this look, I loved it comfortable of course i wore like my little shapewear underneath but i just thought this was like, a cool added you know element that takes like makes it like a cool knit without it being too much it was comfortable it's stretchy you know this is giving leg i got this one i believe so i forgot to cut the tag out on the side when i wore it um this is a size six so i got my true size i do notice that urban revival in general they run a little small so I always go up a size if I can. I believe that cardigan is a medium and I only got a medium because I believe a large was sold out at the time. So I got my true size in this because I knew it was more form fitting and I love it, love it. Look at that green, so cute. And I look cute with it on too. So next thing, um, I wasn't sure about this but I'll probably just wear it with a gray pair of like um, opaque tights because it was a little thinner than I would like it to be. So opaque tights and like a, my little shapewear shorts underneath. Um, but the buttons, they don't open. So these are just here for, the details here just for us to look at. Um, but I love this again because I was like, oh, this would be something I would definitely wear to work, right? But I was like, okay, I had to step in it. I might have ripped it a little bit. So <laughs> this, I would definitely go up, guys. I got my size medium, size six, but I think I could have gotten a large. But I just thought it was cool. I thought, I like the collar, how high it came. Um, I really enjoyed that um, it's a little bit thinner so I feel like even like if you can see it's you know you need to wear something underneath if that makes sense like you can't just be all out so I love this next I saw this outfit from cost and like if you look at it on cost cost is becoming one of my favorite places to shop oh sorry I almost like coughed but um, cost is one of my favorite places to shop because I don't know, I feel like they have elevated basics and I feel like you can always find something cute. The pants we're still struggling with because the trousers are not tall girl friendly from Cost, but maybe they'll work on that. Maybe Cost will bring longs, but I got this, like three things that I thought were really fun from Cost. So this, you don't think anything of it, right? Let me show you too, hold on. <laughs> so this top and skirt is like a wool skirt and obviously if you're new here, I'm from New York, so when you dress for fall slash winter, you have to think about ways that you can layer things. Um, so you might have some like cool, like thin cotton material, but you will be cold. So I saw this top and right now, like just holding it up on camera, it doesn't do it justice. It's just like a plain wool top. It has like balloon sleeves. And I saw this skirt and I was like, oh, this is cute. It's like almost like it flares out a bit. And like looking at it, you don't think anything of it. I got a size medium, cost does run big. I could have got a small in the skirt because I do have some room in the waist. But because I'll probably be wearing with like tights and leggings underneath, I'll be fine. I don't think I'll take it in. But this is just so cool because I can wear this skirt a million times. I can wear this top a million times. I can wear this together a million times. And it's just like the perfect staple for like a New York City like chic look. Um, and getting your cloth per wear. So yes, it's a little pricey. Yes, it's wool. But I'm going to wear this a ton. Like a ton. You know I'm going to push the limit and wear it to work probably. Probably. Um, I'll wear the top a ton because who doesn't need a black top? Here I styled it with this turtleneck. Now, hear me out. I don't, like, I'm not a person who loves animal print. But when I saw this tortoiseshell turtleneck, I was like, I have to have it. It's merino wool. And I was like, oh, this is the perfect tortoiseshell print. Like, you know what I mean? I 
I feel like I look funk crazy in leopard. Leopard is just not me. But I thought it was cool to have a fun print because, again, I'll put it under here. It, it's cute under dresses. It's cool if you have it poked out under something just to add that element of interest without it being a solid color. So this is still available, available from cost. Definitely pick it up. I got this in a size small. I tend to go a down a size in cost. But how cute is this? Like this is just probably, I probably won't even wear this on its own. I'll probably just wear it under things just because I think it's really cool and funky. And how cute is this outfit? Like so cute. It's so simple, but it has pops, which you know I like. So next, what else did I get? Next, I'm gonna show you two more things. Like I got a pair of boots from Nine West and I'll, one, I wanna see your thoughts, your opinions on them. And I think I got one more thing that I wanna show you guys. So. One second. So the next two things actually were influenced by Monroe Steele, if you guys are not following her, which I'm sure you are, she's amazing. So she shared this top, and like I know I have my hair like hiding it because my hair is the moment right now, but like how cool is this Y Project top? And it was like a pretty decent price, so I love, you know, interesting tops to wear with jeans, something that has like a little added element, and I just thought it was really cool. And I loved it. And I think it's still available, so you should definitely go get it. Now let's bring the hair back to the front. <laughs> so I got this one from my Teresa in a size medium. I love it. Um, as far as undergarment things, I have like, you know, nipple covers underneath, so I don't feel like exposed. Um, but I would think you could wear, you could wear a shopless bra. Yeah. Um, you could definitely wear a shopless bra, but I have my little pasty things in case you wanted to know, like undergarment wise. But I just think this is so cool. Like how cute the shoulder action so I love that and then also um, she I had learned through her too the brand entire studios and I wore like this outfit on fashion week which is entire studios so she shared that she had got this bodysuit and I bought the bodysuit because I love it this is how I styled it with like a mini skirt um, full of the mini skirt um, and like my oversized like vintage jacket and this is something again I could even wear with these acne studio jeans I have on now I can wear this with a trouser for work. I can wear this, like, like I said, with leather. And even though you think it's like not boring because it has like cool detail in the front, it's just something that you'll wear like a billion times. And you definitely should check out, um, if you're like me and you like affordable brands, Entire Studio is a great brand. Um, they have really cool things and everything is pretty, like a pretty decent, you know, affordable price point. And then, so I had the pleasure of working with GSTQ. Um, it's a cool brand. Um, I forgot it started, I hate to associate a woman by a man, but it's the uh, Rock's ex-wife, I forget her name. Um, she started this brand for like women's wear to look cool in the office and comfortable. I worked with them last month um, to attend their pop-up shop that's in Rockefeller Center. So if you have um, time to uh, check it out in the city, it's in Rockefeller Center and it was really cool. Um, they gifted me this jacket. Um, one of the things that her line is known for is these sheer bombers. And this one's like really, really cool. Um, of course, you know I love red. I don't know if they purposely gave me red because I've been loving red, but I really love this. I think it's really cool even just to wear with like all black and just have like this sheer cool bomber. So they gifted me this. The pop-up shop was really cool. It's still there to the end of this month. So if you have time to check it out, check it out. And when I think of her name, of course, I'll enter it below, but it's The Rock's sex wife um, And then lastly, I got these shoes from Nine West. Um, I shop Nine West often because I feel like, again, they have affordable shoes. Um, I thought these were really cool. They reminded me of like a Chanel vibe, um, these boots, and they were on sale. Like I got like a coupon code. They were like a friends and family sale and then like 25% off of that. So they were really like dirt cheap. So I could not turn it down. So I picked these up. You let me know what you guys think. They're these booties, they're faux leather, of course, but they have like this black cool tip and they're pretty comfortable. Um, they're like a beigey cream white, so I could wear them a lot. Um, I really thought they were really cool. Um, the only part that I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, is like here, you can't probably can't see because it's really bright right now, but this part here is like, like plastic and I thought it would be at least the faux leather. So I don't know, but I think, other than that, I can kind of make a mark. So let me know what you guys think. I'll link them, of course, down below because they're a really, really great price. Like, really great price. And you can never, ever have too many boots. I think that is all the randomness that I got, guys. Tell me what you guys think about these boots. Let me know which item was your favorite. And I hope I created some fun outfits that gave you some inspo for the fall. Um, 
here it was 37 degrees we're rolling into winter but i wanted to share a few things that i picked up so let me know in the comments which item was your favorite be sure to like this video and subscribe and until next time guys be safe and be well bye